Hello, good afternoon and welcome to the Hartvoll Arena here in Helsinki for the first quarter-final of the 2013 IIHF World Championships. It's a big one. It's the two heavyweights, USA versus Russia. And are the USA going to perform another miracle on ice? Or are the defending gold champions from last year going to be able to beat them as they did in the group stages? Five goals to one, getting a look at a couple of new players into the roster. TJ Oshi there and also Ovi, Alex Ovechkin, who's come in for Russia from the Washington Capitals. So the two sets of skaters eventually out on the ice, running a little bit behind schedule here as we get a look at Ilya Nikolin, the captain of Russia, and Paul Stastny, points leader and captain of the USA. Heavily favoured in terms of experience. The, uh, the Russian roster, Kanjo Sako, and his young American lineup do uh, what many think could be the impossible. And turn over the Russians here. In goal, we're going to have the young Gibson for uh, for the Americans in his debut tournament in the World Championships after he won just about everything there was to win at the Under-20 Worlds just a couple of months ago, weeks ago, I should say. And the other net, Brizgalov, who plays his hockey in America for uh, the Philadelphia Flyers. He's been on the winning side each time that he's played. Well, the national anthems have been dispensed with, so we're going straight into the action. Slight change to the format of the beginning here. But uh, it's really an interesting one. There's another addition to the American lineup, wearing 32, Alex Galchenyuk. Montreal lost to Ottawa in the first round of the Olympics playoffs. So we're ready for the first drop of puck. Stasny in the centre against Tereshenko. And it starts with a USA victory. And as I mentioned, they lost 5-3 in the group stages. Also played here in Helsinki, in USA. And that was after an excellent performance, I have to say, in the first couple of periods, but just couldn't quite hold on in the final. As the, the Russians ran away with it, two goals to nothing, because that puck just goes back high slot. Stasny on the backhand tries to fire it in up and over. And face off in the Russian zone. You can see there nine points for Stasny, the captain, and he's the one leading the charge with the more experienced guys for the Americans. A lot of debutants in the competition this year. Stasny in his third World Championships. And the Russians with Radulov, Ovechkin. Oh, and the first shot from close range. Great save. And it's Ovechkin's first effort of the tournament. And the young 19-year-old, John Gibson, with an excellent save early on. And he's going to need to be in top form. Quick break there from the Russians. Slide it across as Ovechkin arrives. I would have expected him to score that. 
And he had a, a brilliant season, Ovechkin, in the shortened campaign because of a lockout. But the Capitals in the end, they, they couldn't make it through the playoffs. Eventually going down in the game seven decider against the New York Rangers, 4-3. Here is Ovechkin again, still Ovechkin. Oh, brilliant skills from the star and doesn't need much introduction. He did the same last year, came in after the playoffs and helped Russia win gold. You have to get used to the different ice size, but he's a kind of experience playing in Russia and also during the lockout. So expect him to adapt quickly as the bouncing pucks in the center ice. Russia, of course, had those couple of defeats. One was to France, which was said to be one of the biggest upsets in World Championship hockey history. And then that was followed up with a comprehensive loss in the end against the Finns, the, the host nation. Oh, it's opened up again. Shot this time from Petrov. Now in behind with Anisimov. Into the slots. And, well, that's just been given away. Carter. Pass into center ice, he loses out now with Anton Belov. What a career record points for Omskis this year in the KHL. And a mixture of the Russian roster playing in the, the KHL and in the US, predominantly in their, their homeland. There's could be a chance here for the USA. Oh, and arriving in the slot in the backhand shot. Good save off the stick of Jamie McBain. An under-18 World Junior Champion. Championship All-Star, again the puck in behind, a little turn by Peluche, he's chasing the puck now, up against Denisov, on the goal line, pressed up against this Stefan Jonta. He's at most games in the NHL this year, 48 for New Jersey in the regular season. And a pass across the front of the crease from Sergei Soin, and Gibson manages to love that one. Won't be of any surprise to you. But, uh, the meetings between these two uh, teams. In recent years at the World Championships have gone the way of Russia. Indeed, the last uh, four in total, including the, the Olympics. Last win for the US in the World Championships was back in 2004. That was in the group stages. They made it in the semi finals. In 2009, that was a Russian victory again. Another 3 2 victory. And the miracle on ice has been talked about a great deal in the press, particularly the English speaking press. Great moment in Lake Placid in 1980 when a group of young skaters defeated the Russian bear. More experienced, amateur in name, but professional in style of play. It's the Young group of players, the youngest roster in the Olympics that year. It's a medal game, not for the, the playoff because of the format, not for the gold medal, sorry. But they still remember that fondly, and are they going to be able to repeat it? Though Stasny was very quick to say that there are no miracles in hockey these days. I think it's a lot closer, though. If we look at uh, America's recent history in the tournament, they haven't medalled since 2004 and uh, failed to progress past the group stages on a couple of occasions since then. There is Russia, all medalists, as I say, long range effort there, just coming up into the high slot. Took a deflection. Jonta chasing him behind is Nate Thompson. Signed a four year extension to, to Tampa in March. And with Butler just coming through center ice, drifting into the Russian zone, trying to make an option. Backhanded shot goes around the back. Brizgalov doesn't have to make the save. And a couple of chances early on. Best one going to Alex Ovechkin. As you get a look at 71 for Russia, Ilya Kovalchuk, the tournament's leading point scorer. Him and Radulov have been deadly for the Russians so far. Pulusi chasing it round the boards, looking for an option, tries a little reverse pass. Everything squeezed up over on the right side. I think everyone would have taken a little heart from those two defeats for the Russians after, if you recall, last year they won seven out of seven in the group stages and then 
pass serenely through to the gold medal match and hammered Slovakia in the final. Well-deserved victory, helped by the likes of uh, Alex Ovechkin's arrival. Here is Kovalchuk. And I do have just behind him. Look at that little reverse pass, but good work on the D by Justin Falk, who's had a good tournament so far in just his second World Champs. He had eight points last year. And an under-18 World Junior Championship gold medalist in 2010. And you get an idea of the, the sort of youth policy that's employed here. No, the roster will no doubt be greatly different for the Olympics in Sochi to be held in February next year, which is what the Russians are building up towards. It's a great opportunity for the young Americans to put some time on the big ice. Definitely a pro-Russian crowd as Medvedev just puts the puck in behind to Tutin. Only 600 games in the NHL for Fidio Tutin as the pass is zipped through center ice. And just going backwards and forwards a little at the moment, not too many chances in this uh, opening period. Tutin under pressure with two skaters, Medvedev takes it. He's been uh, the top scoring defenseman for the... Russians in the tournament so far, and a classy little turn there, the two-time Gagarin Cup champion. Now driving through centre ice, and the shot comes in, low down, save with the pads from the stick of Artyom Anisimov. As they change the line, the US up from range, again low down, this time with comfortable with Brizgalov. Philadelphia Flyers didn't have the best of years, ended up in 10th place in the Eastern Conference, the 48 game season this year compared to the usual 82. Soin is the one chasing it in behind with a reverse pass there from Hunwick. And a debutante in the tournament, Thompson driving up the left wing, wants an option in front, still Thompson going all the way back but pressured by Denisov. There's a little uh, reverse pass, Belov squeezing up against the boards, high up in this point is uh, Popov. Check coming in, Jonta trying to dig it out. The blue line, and again it's a low shot, again it's an easy save. And he can bring it away. Into the US zone, a little dump there. Alexei Tereshenko, the leader for the face-offs for the Russians in the tournament, he got it back now, Medvedev. Another little dump there, too much speed on the play as the four-check is that aggressive, eight minutes gone in the first period, still no score. As I say, it's been a big build-up to this one. The Americans said through team captain Stastny that they'd learned what they did wrong in the group game. He felt that maybe the quarter-final one is the most important game in the tournament talking about how uh, need to change into that one game mentality but a good crowd in here as well don't think anybody particularly the Russian fans want to miss so the quarter-final matchup Sapper's done well with the, his young team his coach of the Colorado Avalanche earlier in the season 44 years of age and the former NHLer himself for Anaheim, Anaheim and for the Capitals. Get the first line in for that face off. Haven't seen much from Kovalchuk or Radilov yet for the Russians. Medvedev realizes there's no option there so just goes off the board it was a good pass as well Radulov sweeps it across Kovalchuk in space this is danger now back to Radulov one touch and then another good save from Gibson a little dump and go at the other end after it is Stapleton in a couple of years here in Finland before going back to the US and high up the driven slap shot by Falk He's bounced off Brizgalov, and the Russians can bring it away. Still got uh, the best skaters on the ice. 
Radulov taking up to the goal line. He's got Kovalchuk with him and just a, well, a bit of miscommunication there between the two as number 15, Craig Smith. Everyone who knows Finland well, both for Kalpa and some Liga during the lockout. Just wanted to get a stick and a good anticipation there as Stashny just leaves it. And the US can run a change. Here's Galchenyuk, actually born to a Belarusian father, speaks Russian. Nearing 32. We're back in the US zone with Hunwick. Tied the Bruins record for goals by a rookie defenseman with a six game scoring streak in 2008-9. record it still stands, turning back with Popov. And his entire career with Omsk. Something could work out here for Perezogin. Almost midway through. Well, they said they wanted to be a bit more physical, the US, in the early part of this game. Play more north to south hockey than east to west. I haven't seen that many big hits, though, in the early part as Kuznetsov, another addition a few days ago to the, uh, the Russian roster. Wearing 92, skates after it. TJ Oshi, so much of him yet. Some Lewis Blues forward. Pass across the ice into the neutral zone now with the Russians looking to come back. It's with uh, Kirill Petrov, another one who's got a couple of Gagarin Cup champion medals. With, uh, AK Bars Kazan. Let's work up the left wing. Kuznetsov and Petrov are both in the centre, shot coming in, and it's straight down the centre and gobbled up by Gibson. Good uh, dig there from Tutin. Would have broken his uh, career high for points in the NHL. He'd been a full season at 22 in 48 games. His record is 34. So plenty of traffic in front of some of the heroics there of Gibson. I say he won just about everything there was to win the young 19 year old and uh, in the junior champs they beat Sweden three goals to one in the final after down in Canada 5-1 in the semis and the Czech Republic 7-0 in the quarters and that's something they talk about why they can do well uh, at the junior level but really have struggled down the years to uh, get medals not just in the world championships but also in the, uh, the Olympics they got a silver in the last one with gold since 1980, the miracle on ice I mentioned earlier. The World Championships, certainly a difficult bronze in 2004. The last gold medal in the world was 1960. Well, the Americans were talking about how they train for the with the Stanley Cup as the save comes in from Brizdilov. The type of training isn't necessarily suited to this on the bigger ice. You know what I mean. Tune in to the NHL playoffs, which are in the second round now. One game played, three of the four. The LA Kings have taken the lead. TJ Oshie's side as it's just slashed in front well they just managing to get it away good moment there though for the americans and it could still be on a little reverse pass and then laid right in front briskolov trying to close down the space chasing after now is hunwick back around over the boards craig smith and on the shot in front front in the first score and it's the captain paul stastny And the U.S. take the lead. Well, a little concerted pressure from the more ex inexperienced side. And Stastny now with 10 points, his fifth goal, and a timely one. Good work by Smith in behind, trying to get away from Piriakov, and he does just that. Lays it in front, and a great tip arriving in the crease. Stastny makes it USA 1. That's nothing. Well, he's been the go-to man. 
service work from Smith there, a little backhanded pass. And the Finnish fans, not too many US supporters in the crowd, but it's a big goal get in front of the US. And now are the Russians going to respond? They haven't started with the same menace as they've shown in other games. Could be an answer back here from Ovechkin. Makes the shot. Stopped by Gibson. Oh, and another good stop from Gibson. Arriving in front. For the rebounded effort. I think it was Tereshenko. Goalie, anything can happen. Good work from Ovechkin. It's number 24, Alexander Popov, who uh, tried to get the rebound, just arriving in there off the chest. Couldn't direct it in. Good work on the deep. Uh, yeah. Galchenyuk as well, arriving in the crease. Here's the goal again. Look at this, the skills. A little pass waiting in the crease. No one was there. Nikolin arriving too late. their game in the group stages it went uh, one nothing Russia and the US tied the game and the US went back in front the two goals to one and we'll level at 3-3 in the second period USA leading twice in that game and in the third also Medvedev and Radulov made it five goals to three so change to the way things went a week ago Played on the 7th of May. The Russians in the end finished second in the group on 15, tied with the US, but a better goal difference. They had plus 15. And are they going to be able to respond quickly to the charge laid down? Oh, and it's another goal! And this time it's TJ Oshi. He gets his first of the tournament. And the Russians, head in hands for the fans, as TJ Oshie makes it USA 2, Russia nothing. Two goals in the space, well, less than a minute there. Oshie coming forward, here now, and the shot right up in the top corner. Great goal for him, and a great goal for the Russian Priskolov. So dependable in the tournament so far. And he doesn't pick that one. The Russians have a crucial two-goal lead in this first quarter-final here in Helsinki. An amazing turn of events in the last minute. Oh, we've got to see a reaction here from the Russians. Just, uh, going through the motions. Been off the ice for a few days as well. Their uh, last matchup was against... Slovakia. Check that against Austria on the 13th. So two and a half days or so. Just a little cold. There's Netsov in behind the goal. Arriving is Radilov. Ball off high up on the line, but the US have taken it back. They managed to get it through center ice and now driving forward with Carter, who tries the shot from close range. That time. Vizagov could just put out the arm and force it round. A little reverse pass from Biryakov in behind the Russian goal with Anton Belov. Lost in the Gagarin Cup final to Moscow a year ago. And a long range shot high up in the slot, and then quickly on the turn. Good effort that from David Moss. The US have still got it playing with confident, confidence at the moment as that one just tips over the back. Then rather desperately sent across the ice. A little risky there, Radilov. Reverse pass up into the centre. Well, we've seen nothing of Kovalchuk yet. One chasing the puck now. It's been, oh, that one's been given away. Be some danger here. Tereshenko, he gets checked. Now Pelusic, short pass, but it was a little too stiff. Comes across, chance here, driven shot. Right in front of the crease, but no one can get on the end of Tutin's drive. Five and a half minutes to go in the first period. The US have got a two-goal lead. Well, uh, 
Rossi. These are the St. Louis Blues. You see his goal again there. Two goals in that playoff loss to the LA Kings. Playing in his third World Championship. His first goal of this tournament. Hedgekin can't get the stick on it. Shot again from Tutin. Rattles off the backboards. US up on the face-offs as well. Good check there. Need to try and scoop it up. Medvedev just one-handed. Pass across, finds Popov. Good Popov. He tries to fire it through, but takes the deflection off Butler. Medvedev with the check. Where's the support coming? Uses the skate just to pass it. Now comes across to Alexander Popov again. One gold last year with the Russians. Inside the final five minutes. What a great first period has been for the US so far. Danger coming here, though. Oh, and then the tip. And the Russians have scored. And it's Alexander Svitov. Well, we've seen a few goals like that from the Russians where they just click. And it's Russia 1, USA 2. Nice play there from the Russians to open up the US. Direct play, Sergei Soin on the turn and arriving at the crease. Simple finish for Svitov. And an excellent response there from the Russians. Closing the gap. And it's as easy as that, that's what we expect from the Russian skaters. back in the game first score timed on 15 minutes and 30 seconds assist for Sergei Soin and Fyodor Tutin oh, another good effort there swinging the puck across the crease and Belov four minutes on the clock Goes into centre ice it's Netzov can't bring it under control Intercepted on the blue line, no it wasn't. Petrov waiting for it, trying to use it in the slot and... Well, the shot comes, but wide of Brizgalov in the Russian goal. And in the pass, just dumped up the other end of the ice so the Russians can change the line. And we're saying White coming forward. And no one just forced up the other end as Nikolin gets on it. There's a sloppy pass, that one. Just want to keep doing the basics right. It's a goal. Look at this. Just opens it up on the right wing. Sergei Soy. And then arriving late. Doesn't get picked up by Matt Carl. And she with the stick as well. It was a nice play. As I mentioned, sometimes you just see them that already in this tournament four or five times that type of goal pull things down the right slide it as a man arrives towards very simple very effective as Tutin versus the pass Medvedev first time Tereshenko Miletiko Radulov Tereshenko again he's Kovalchuk lays it back Medvedev Medvedev on the turn but that was an easy puck three minutes on the clock As I say, yeah. going well for the Russians, the defenseman. Four points, sorry, yeah. seven points so far. Five assists, two goals. Kovalchuk with 13 points. And still yet to see the start. Yeah. He's been in the media plenty, both the Russian and the American. Playing for the New Jersey Devils. What a tricky game it'll be. Also, the Americans are acclimatized to the, the bigger rinks. It wouldn't be an easy stroll when well, they've learned that already with two minutes 30 to go in the first period. US took a 2 0 lead. Well, Svitov got one back. And the Russians going to be able to level it up here in this first period. This was the 
pace in the group game finished uh, two goals each after the first time as a shot close range there from Ryan Carter goes wide though Carter on the puck now in behind now it's with uh, Jonta in reverses it Thompson he's dispossessed though what a good effort, just passing it straight back to the US when there was a man available. Carl, that's the check on the, on the boards there inside the Russian zone. Still alive for the US. On the turn is Carter again. Two on two here for the Russians. A little layoff pass, shot coming from Kokarev. Less than 90 seconds to go as that one whistles over the top of Gibson. Breakdown of communication for the Russians. A little dump and go, but runs into traffic there. And no way through for Craig Smith. Not that excellent assist for the first goal. And behind is Tutin. One minute to go in the first period. Let's off the one chasing. Just gets his stick on it. Ahead of Johnson. Attack here, maybe for the Russians. Discipline's been good up to now. We've got our first penalty. Looking there, it's the captain who scored that first goal, Paul Stasny. Third penalty of the tournament so far. Petrov working through the tactics right up to the last seconds. First line on for the Russians as they try on this power play. First of the game. Bad tempered affair at all. There was a few crossed sticks in the first game. Radulov. The US have been the best on power plays so far. Seconds left. Driven shot from Nikolin. Saved by Gibson. And dumped up the other end. I don't think there's going to be any chance for another attack with the, the seconds out. And the buzzer goes, well, it's all good for the US. They lead two goals to one. Which way is it going to go? Can the Russians come back? We'll find out soon. Don't go away. В итоге первого периода согласился подвести форвард сборной России Александр Овечкин. Саш, проигрываем пока. Что делать? Ну, забивать тебе надо, конечно. Моментов создаем много сейчас. Много бросков, но нужно одного игрока посылать перед воротами, чтобы был какой-то трафик, и чтобы было какой-то, ну, чтобы мы находили какой-то момент для подправления шайбы и находить добивание, конечно. Мы уже встречались здесь с американцами, у вас, правда, не было, и тоже проигрывали по ходу матча, но, тем не менее, добились победы. Есть надежда на то, что мы здесь все поправим, есть время? Ну, все, только один первый период закончился, поэтому еще играть очень много. Вот опять же, нужно играть свою игру и использовать момент. Саш, не могу не спросить, как вы себя чувствуете, потому что понятно, что после перелета и так далее. Как, как сейчас ощущение? Все хорошо. Спасибо, удачи. Это был форвард сборной России Александр Овечкин.
Thank you very much, fellas. Uh, Craig, first of all, an assist on the first goal. Tell us how that fits into the offense you're trying to create against Russia. That's good. We want to limit turnovers and, and uh, you know, we want to make sure we have a strong cycle game because they play man on man. So, um, you know, if we can limit turnovers and get it deep and get our sta our forecheck established. Um, you know, it's good, but, uh, you know, I'd like to see more, a couple more shots hit the net. But, you know, we're getting chances and, and we're getting pucks on. Uh, they went from one end to the other in five seconds on their goal. Just talk about how important the forwards are to the defensemen and playing Team D. They got some highly skilled forwards, so um, you know we, we got to get back and help out our defense and, and make sure we're taking away that uh, you know that third lane coming in the zone, which they score on. So I think we take care of that when we take care of ter take care of some turnovers, and we'll be fine. Good luck the rest of the way. All right, thank you. Thank you, Craig. Sorry for the wait. Oh,
Hello and welcome back to the Hartwell Arena here in Helsinki, where the Russians are trailing two goals to one against the USA. It was 2 0 after two in about 50 seconds. First by Paul Stastny, the captain, and then by TJ Oshi. The Russians, a very quick attack. It took them about five seconds to get down the ice, just tucked it away. Alexander Svitov getting the crucial goal back to just narrow that gap to one goal. Gibson was in excellent form. See that. Russians, ten shots to eight in their favor. The crucial one is the goals column. And the team of Joe Sacco They're very much ahead on that count at the moment. Are they going to be able to keep it up? Is uh, Zinetula yet it on? Masterminding a comeback. We're going to find out right now as we get ready to drop the puck for the second period here in the first quarter final of the 2013 IIHF World Championships. The winner will progress through to the semis to be held in Stockholm. Gerishenko and Thompson. And again, the Americans come away with it. Russia still on the power play with Stastny in the box. Still got their uh, best skaters out there on the ice. Space here for Kovalchuk, but it's pulled back, and then a slap shot. Kovalchuk just drifted towards the goal line. Nikolin in behind, a minute to go in the power play. This is the first one the Russians have had up to now. They're at fourth in the standings for the tournament so far out of the group stages. Six goals from 24 advantages. Another shot, but it goes wide of Gibson. High up on the line is Biryakov. Still, and he's just drifted in there, left it for Kovalchuk. Going behind the goal, 30 seconds to go. Americans doing everything to close it down. The pass goes through the legs of Kovalchuk. He's looked uh, off colour, and it could be a short-handed chance here. Driven shot there by Jonta. Good work from the US. Puck's flying, that's for sure, but Kovalchuk tossing in a bum game so far. I need to uh, see him get back on form. He's been their most deadly skater out there on the ice as Thompson again wins the uh, face-off, but well, they just nicked it back. Perizogin driving at the right wing. Wants the man in front, Ovechkin's there now. Here is Alex Ovechkin, tries to just put it through the legs. The US team will know him well. But he's one of the best forwards in the in the NHL. For a number of years now. He's won so many trophies. Another shot, two-time gold medalist as well. Ovechkin in the World Championship. And then the shot. Well, he tried to claim it first time. Gibson from Perizogin. Tutin sends it round the boards in behind. Ovechkin just takes a tumble, looking for the wraparound of Ovechkin now! Oh, and a good save, and they've got it away. Coming up, well, Carter just had to check back there for a second. Ovechkin once more, pass over. Swain just lets it go, in the shot. Risk the effort. Complained by John Gibson. Just the work before, Ovechkin wiped out, and then it reappears. And just throwing himself down like a mat on the net there. Blocking out the number eight. Yeah, it was a good face off to win for the Russians, but he couldn't get the shot off to him. There's traffic in front of the goal. Petrov sends it round the boards, chasing. There was Kuznetsov. Aggressive forecheck here by the Russians. Oh, then we get the whistle on the plate. The smiles there. It's sunnier for the US. You see Stefan Jonta letting rip with that shot. 
goals already in the tournament, John Tut. Really like to add to that total. the puck and again the US win the face off well, they're dominating that area of the game Hoopstad tries to send it round but doesn't get far stick in was a good one and pass across from Christo in. And Smith just trying his luck from wide out and hoping for the rebound Radulov drop pass Kovalchuk Nikulin and he whips it into the goal and it's Clapped out the air by Gibson. Captain in his eight World Championships. He's to have more out there for Russia as Kovalchuk. Face off in the US zone. Spits off the goal scorer. This time the Russians do well, they get it back. Slid in, but doesn't get through the traffic. Two US defensemen stolen back by Soren. A little dump and go for himself. High up over the back of the goal. And then oh, USA just doing what they can to get it away. Good turn back there from Kokorev. Medvedev now. Slides it over right on the blue line. Here is Svitov. Three seasons in the NHL with Tampa and Columbus. Over on the right side, two skaters arriving. Medvedev to start again. Oh, that was a slack pass there from Medvedev, and he's put his team under pressure. Ready for the pass in. He recovers well, though. A backhanded pass from Stasny blocked out by Medvedev in close range shot. And so close there. I think it's Aaron Pelushi. Good work from the Americans to take advantage of that mistake. It was Pelushi from close range, but driven straight. At Brizgalov, got it for the second time of asking, Ken Smith involved. Down in the Russian zone, comes back the US way. Johnson has a dig, but too much in front of Brizgalov, and now on the counter, three Russian skaters, Ovechkin. Well, he tries his luck, but took a deflection there off Hunwick. Four minutes gone in the second period, still no score added to the 2-1 in the first. It's a bouncing puck. Oh, Vetchkin tried the fresh air shot. And there's the Bjugstad. And his debut in the NHL this year. Christoph. No, it's not dealt with first time, just bouncing off Brizgalov. Coming through center ice now with Anton Belov. Oh, nice move just to evade. Nisimov, who tried to take out Truba, made sure of it afterwards, though. Truba, only a youngster in his first World Championships, and, and it was Oshi. It goes nowhere, though, and the puck goes back up the ice. Well, uh, do an interview with Craig Smith in the, uh, the break between the first and second period. He said they needed to try and keep the turnovers low. Make sure that the forwards are helping out the defensemen. Avoid what happened with the first goal for the Russians. Doing a great job so far though, really looking good for this lead. Five minutes gone in the second period. Another little chance developing here. Oshie's the one in front of the crease. On the turn with the Galchenyuk. Belarusian ice skater. To say for the opponents today. Three languages, in fact. It's Virginia, English, Russian, and Italian. It's another named number 20 gold in Russia. Played on January 5th. 
Travelling for him. In the last few months. Well, we've seen the Russians make a few uh, unnecessary mistakes early on as that puck just disappears out the ice. Early on in this second period, they need to cut those out because uh, comfortable at the moment for the Russians. Oh, the memento there. Stoic, Sacco on the sidelines. Each other a little better. Jonta just swings it in front, and then at the other end, Svitov driving forward, but he's on his own, isolated against two, just drops it off, and that's a miss. There, and the Russians under pressure again. Pass into center ice, and the shot, and the score! USA 3, Russia 1, and it's Thompson. Nate Thompson arriving late, the pass from Ryan Carter, and the Russians go two goals behind again, his first of the tournament. Well, you see there, a little pass, Nikolin who gets Robbed and oh, it wasn't Nicolin, excuse me, it was Tutin. Good finish. Well, but going through the legs there, please go off. You expect more from the Philadelphia Flyers goalie. Carter's pass, bouncing puck, and he just manages to direct it on target through the legs of please go off. Well, things not looking good here for the Russians. Done. So, the game together at the moment, the USA are completely dominating things as Denisov moves it up the right. What was that pass there? Another chance here at developing. Oh, but right in front. Great effort. Good save from Priskolov. But the Russians making all sorts of mistakes. That time it was uh, Craig Smith. Chance here, high up on the blue line, fisted away by Gibson, Tereshenko, and then the early shot from Kovalchuk. Well, the overwhelming face there of Kovalchuk, there's Nate Thompson. Soin just couldn't do enough to put him off. He's got to try and wipe him out there. He's got to take the penalty. Get that stick in front. Thompson's. It's just too fast for him, but that all came about because Fedor Tutin lost the puck in the center ice off the pass from Svitov. The turnover goal there for the USA. Things very much going to plan. Sakrok and a mastermind, a uh, historic victory here over the Russians. The Russian coach definitely looking a little perturbed about things, and uh, well, he might. And Pedizogin as well, but no one there to pick it up. Ovechkin was the one closest. Maybe a short stay for him in the World Championships of the go out. After he's just arrived from America, said he wanted to keep on playing hockey, wasn't ready for a rest as the shot comes in. Five bodies in front, though. And driving up the left, this time with the Oshi. Scored the second goal. But is Ogin, and Ovechkin just coming around his right side. Ovechkin from a narrow angle. And a mid-air there by Gibson. Again, just after that loss of the puck. Counter. Sawing here. Ready to Thompson gets between the two defensemen. 
Tutin and Soy, the one retreating. Set fair for the USA. We get to drop the puck again. USA and Russia is on the same side of the draw as the Czech Republic and Switzerland. Switzerland do the undefeated team in the Helsinki group, in the Stockholm group, excuse me. Republic will finish with the biggest win of the tournament over Norway. Seven goals for nothing. Tutin gives it short. Nice pass across the ice, opening up Radulov, arriving is Tereshenko. Radulov tries his luck, and then again, saved by Gibson. Another bite at it for Tereshenko. And again, it comes back the American way. Up the ice by Butler. Reorganize things. Medvedev. <laughs> Tutin. Good look at Artyom. Missimov. Shinko did everything he could to try and just put that one in. Again, Gibson having a hot streak. Breakable in the US goal. Medvedev sends it around the boards. Radulov does the same. Comes back the USA way. Eight minutes played in the second period. One goal coming so far in this time, but 25 45 on the clock. Nate Thompson to the turnover. Kovalchuk. Well, chance here. Again, it's saved. That time coming from Kuznetsov. Place with Traktor Chelyabinsk. The KHL. Third in the Eastern Conference this year. Moved it through to the Gagarin Cup finals and they eventually lost to Dinamo, Minsk, uh, Dinamo Moscow. Four goals to two. Bars Astana, Gar Omsk, and the Bars Kazan. Taking the conference finals against Kazan. Go one further. Brilliant so far. Thompson dominating the face off for the US. Here's with Eric Johnson. Olympic silver medal for him in Vancouver in 2010. Well, USA can just keep this together. Mary Johnson is dropping off there, close range shot. Nets off, hits the boards. Oh, good work on his uh, backside there, Carter. Through the center, so to chase for oh, Petrov. Opens up on the right, though, as uh, the US come forward. Trouba just takes his time with the pass. Put in around the boards, and uh, he didn't spy Tim Stapleton, who was just waiting there. It's difficult for the Russians to get it out of their zone. It was a better pass. That one, not so much, though. Given away. Jink from uh, Oshi. Drives it in, saved with the pads by Blizgolov. Another chance for Rossi, maybe. I'm looking to lay it back into Stapleton, who just jinked inside. That was a much better pass there. Opens the play up. Kokarev now is back into his area. Midway through the game, midway through the period. And it's USA 3, Russia 1. Here in Helsinki. Oh, chance developing, and a shot goes wide, though. Gives it for Stastny. All going. Jonta. Cycling the play over on the left circle. Oh, chance here again. And on that occasion, Matt Carl just unable to get the backhanded shot over the defenseman. 
Ovechkin. He loses out. Bullied off the puck at the moment. Smith, still Smith on the goal line. But as in the first to react to the puck as Moss ties it up with him. High up on the point. There's the pass, came from Carl. Medvedev passing with Stasny. Here's Falk. Nine minutes to go from close range by Jonta. Not on target though. Falk again. Yes, doing well, controlling the, the play inside. There's a penalty coming. Trying to make the angle. Driven shot. Wide again. Stasny once more. Goal rattled on its fixings. And then the whistle comes. Getting Medvedev look here on Stasny. No interference there. That's the number 82. This is third penalty. First of the game for the Russians. Amazing movement. All penalty minutes. You really go at it. Eric Johnson got a major, in fact, at the end of their 5 3 defeat in the group stages, smacking the puck away. He's on the puck now, Johnson. He's leading to Stapleton. Trying to get the left wing up against Belov. Still squashed up against the barriers with the Russian. Managed to dig it out, though. Petri, his third season with the NHL Oilers. Minute 30 on the power play. Can the, the Americans get that fourth goal and extend the lead? USA second now on the power play after the Swiss. Just went above them in their last group game, but eight goals from 25 advantages as the shot comes in. Seven points in the regular season. Which is a achievement for him, only 19 years of age. Face off. Really difficult to get away, but uh, well, with momentum lost, they just decide to go back and rebuild with Truba. Oh, loses the skates, but gets the pass away nonetheless. Still got 50 seconds to go in the power plate. At first, it was a sloppy pass, though, driving up the ice with Kokarev. And just leaves it for Truba. Comes forward with Smith. Well run there by Tereshenko. Radulov over on this side. Tereshenko! Radulov is isolated on his own against two defensemen. He'll just pick his pocket. 20 seconds on the power play. And hasn't been a good one this from the USA. Smith sends it round the boards. Tuber again. Have been the best on penalty killing so far. That was the 23rd disadvantage. Five goals taken, 13th out of 16. Following the seven games in the groups. Six and a half minutes to play. Well, it was a little fortuitous. Hasn't gone anywhere for Popov. Again, the US managed to dig it out. On the cross, Ovechkin takes the check and slows him down. Arriving is Perizogin. 
Still there, looking to the point. Once back from Bidiakov. Bidiakov again. Metskin in front of the crease. Up against Truba. And comes to strip the escape there of Perizogin. As the Russians and the US win the change. Bidiakov. Good pass, Radulov. Drops it for Kovalchuk. Kovalchuk driving to the net. And then an excellent stick save there by Gibson. Good work. Have a penalty here. Cool looking on the uh, So, second penalty of the game so far for the US. So, really just, uh, sorry, Kovalchuk driving towards the goal. We haven't seen nearly enough of that from the uh, top scorer in the tournament. He's been well off colour. That's how Russia and Radulov, another one. Medjugin can't uh, play too much criticism at his door just coming in. Plan as well has really worked. The Russians have got some thinking to do. As we move into the closing part of this second period. So the US short handed Teleshenko needs to win this one. Still, eventually again, the US come away with it. So the Russians being completely dominated in the face-off, making life difficult for them. Radulov, signing his way through. Still Radulov, a oh, great individual effort, but he didn't get the shot away, and Tereshenko couldn't help him out either. Here's Ovechkin. And Kovalchuk. And he changed the line there, putting Ovechkin in with Kovalchuk and Radulov on the power play. Hasn't uh, done anything yet, though, to break down this stubborn USA defence. Still uh, just over a minute left on the power play. Ovechkin free on this side. Radulov. Very little, they've kept him quiet. Kovalchuk right in front, save. Oh, and then a fresh hit miss. Ovechkin, he just swung the stick at it. Arriving, oh, that was a good drive as well. Ovechkin, though, he's had the goal at his mercy, and you'd expect him to just tuck that one in the back of the net. 44 points in 55 World Championship games, 26 goals. Bit of criticism about his attitude in the playoffs and lost to the Rangers. Oh, could be trouble here. Could be trouble here. Oh, save. Good shot though from TJ Oshi. Kovalchuk doesn't get there first, and the USA do well killing the penalty. Yeah. The penalty killing so far in the tournament. Done with ease as Medvedev gets it on the turn. Perezogin now. He's got the option to his right. Decides to go alone, but it's basketed by uh, Gibson. The goodness there from Ovechkin. Have another look here. It's the fresh air. Oh, and that was a great chance. Just goes straight over the top of his stick. He doesn't react to it. You can see there on the replay. Doesn't realize it's coming in. Tell written on his face there, the, uh, the Russian superstar. And he should have scored four times. He's had over 100 points in the NHL for Washington 2005 6, and between 2007 2010. Never won the Stanley Cup, though. It's definitely one prize he wants, as does the Russians want the uh, gold medal in Sochi next year, which is what they're building towards. Inside the final three minutes. Oh, 
the Russians going to be able to get this second goal that they so desperately need. Pass across, Stasny. Easy back in, just tipped as the skaters is arriving. Now the Russians trying to get it away. In the communications port, Stasny with the pass. Free open in the go to the crease. And the USA score. Galchenyuk makes it four. And the Russians are up against it. Incredible. Well, out of nothing, another mistake in the Russian zone. The USA pick it up and punished. Galchenyuk gets his first goal of the tournament, and what a one it is for them. Takes it around, Blizgolov. Look at that there, Kuznetsov just stretching. Pass again for another sister, Smith. Wonderful touch there, Galchenyuk arriving. Coming across the front of the crease. Momentum just does for Blizgolov. anybody was predicting this before the tournament they thought maybe the USA would give Russia a very good game He's done more than that there completely in control of this one with a three goal lead three goal cushion it's going to be crucial to just reduce their arrears in the last two minutes which is where we're at now on the turn still waiting for some of their big skaters to turn up they've been quiet too quiet in this first two periods Terrific shot there from Kokarev she disappears out and you can see again his net off it wasn't totally his fault the pass initially to him left him to stretch for it an avoidable goal conceded off to uh, continue 19 years of age he gets his debut world championship goal it's Russia in the quarterfinals the year he's having Tereshenko on the face-off this time the Russians do win it Kovalchuk tries to whip it to the net, so another stop. Riskolov's been pulled. Well, he's got a consoling pat on the back. He realizes he's on the big screen, so trying to play it cool there. And the Russians have put in Semyon Valimov. See the coach not happy with the way things are going in goal. And off day, the Philadelphia Flyers goal. It it's pass. 20 seconds to go in the second period. Both goals coming from the USA in this time. Pass across from John Tuck. And there's something developing here for the US. Oh, and looking for the shot from Hunwick. Doesn't manage to get it. And then. Pounced on by Valimov. Moments again, Stasny once more involved in the, the build-up play. The point for him. The point for Smith. First then a goal for Alex Kalchenyuk. Russians, I think, just want this period to end. We've got a minute to go as they drive up with Ovechkin. Well, wide with this shot off the back of the goal, off the back of the board, I should say. Perezogin now. Should we keep it tight right to the end? Give him a little boost. It's going to be some heads down for the Russians as they go into the into the locker room. A little slack pass there, but just made too many errors. The the Russians. Check back in. Oh, oh, what a chance. Oshi jinking his way through the Russian D. He didn't get the shot away. Vechkin tries to control it on the backhand. 
Tries to give the shot away though. Tutin swings it over. Nikolin. And the last few seconds come to bring this second period to a close. The buzzer goes. And we have got the Miracle on Ice part two developing here. USA leads four goals to one as they go into the break. And which way this one's going to go? Are the Russians going to come back? Can the USA hold on? We're going to find out. Don't go away. Илья Ковальчук согласился ответить на наши вопросы во втором перерыве. Илья, положение тяжелое. Можно его назвать катастрофическим или все-таки шансы есть? Да впереди 20 минут, надо выходить, играть. Но мы шайбу теряем в средней зоне, боимся врезаться в кого-то, поэтому так нельзя играть. Сейчас надо выходить, биться, три шайбы можем забить. Что делать? Надо просто почаще к воротам бросать и перед вратарем стоять. Мы ему даем все видеть, он ловит шайбу. Очень много невынужденных ошибок, просто отдаем шайбу на, на клюшку соперников. Нервозность или что? Ну что происходит? Да не нервозность, но так получается. Поэтому что у нас 20 минут впереди, никто за нас э, не будет э, переживать или что-то делать. Поэтому мы сами должны выходить и исправлять положение. Спасибо, удачи вам. Это был Илья Ковальчук, форвард сборной России.
Welcome back to the Hardball Arena here in Helsinki. It's currently USA 4, Russia 1. Heading for a famous defeat here, unless they can turn things around in this final period. And uh, superb second time there for the Americans. They've got a couple of goals on top of the 2-1 win in the first period. From Nate Thompson in the first of his career in the World Championship for Alex Galchenyuk. At the, at the shot count, it was again a decent uh, number for Russia, but no goals, 13 each. After having two more in the first period, 10 to 8. Discipline was good as well, just a couple of penalty minutes in the second period, it's 4 to 2. With the Russians, they've got to score next in this one, you feel, if it goes to a four-goal lead, Very hard job to get back into the quarter-final here, the first quarter-final of the 2013 IIHF World Championships in Stockholm and Finland. And the semi-finals will be over in Stockholm in the final. That's what these two teams are looking to book a place in Radulov, who, as we said, has almost been a non-starter here. Tereshenko just kicks it away and then finds Kovalchuk, another one who's been quiet, did an interview with the... Russian TV in the, in the interval between the second and third periods, but Russia is an open to much, but definitely did cut a very happy figure. And uh, Ovechkin as well, who had that great chance to score when he was at 3 1. Puck just going over his stick. And another mistake. He also had a change of goalie as well for the Russians with. Rizgalov going out and Varlamov coming in. One minute played here in the final time. Peditogin was trying to get on it, but the Americans coming away. It's with the Galchenyuk. Plenty of ice time for him so far this afternoon. There's TJ Oshi, one of the goal scorers. Stastny also with a goal. Oshi, Thompson, and Galchenyuk, Svitov for Russia. Maybe a chance here. Ovechkin! Ovechkin's claiming it's a goal. And he's pointing at it. He's still going on. And Ovechkin's going to speak to the referee now. Says he scored that. It was a lightning shot from Ovechkin. And we'll wait and see. There's a review here as the pass comes across. Seemed pretty short. Two minutes gone now. Slap shot goes out and over. And we'll get to have another look at that effort there from Alex Ovechkin. Ovi, as he's known in the US, one of the greatest skaters in the world. Watch this shot. Wow, I think that goes in. I think he scored. Rattles the bar. This will be the one. That goes in. It hits the camera at the back. And Russia with an instant goal in this third period. And it comes from the superstar, Alex Ovechkin. So it's 4-2 and a great way to begin the final period for the Russians who are under pressure. That's definitely gone in the goal. Just get an idea of how quick this shot is. In and out in a flash. A 
And that's just what Russia needed. Try and get things going again. A long wait over this. It's fairly obvious for his first goal of the tournament. Again, we can have a look. This isn't really the most conclusive angle. Inside of Gibson. Takes a little tip of his glove. High up into the net and out again. Looks as if it could have been off the off the crossbar. The frame of the goal didn't take a touch, and it's a certain score there for Russia's number eight in his first game since arriving over from the US. There you go, confirmation. That's what they want from Ovechkin. A little. Uh, Sigh of relief there from the Russians. Some bigger smiles for the fans watching. Needs to come back on now. Makes it his 27th World Championship goal in 55 games. Stars of world hockey in the tournament. And if we would rather have kept going in the, in the NHL playoffs, Stanley Cup. Rangers yet to uh, get going against the Bruins, the only one that hasn't started yet. Pittsburgh, Ottawa. For the Canadians, which helped out a few different rosters here in the World Championships. Nikolin. And they reset the time from when the goal was scored. Edward Devin behind. Nikolin, check. By Jonta. Well, let's have a look here. Jonta could be getting a, a penalty for that charge there. I can't believe it. A ruthless smile. Have a look. Wax uh, people into the ground. Sure so the hits aren't allowed here in the World Championship, even though uh, he takes it well. A little bit irresponsible there, you've got to say, from John Tufter. The Russians just scored. And on the power play now, their third of the game, they could maybe reduce the gap to just one. This is really turning into a pressure cooker. What a game we've got on our hands here. It's nice to be on the face off up against Radulov. Yeah, that's nice thing as well. Well, that's the one that area that has been for all the US, especially in the crucial moments. Nikulin Ovechkin to his left. There is Ovechkin, just leaves his skates. Radulov, has the pass, but good block. Radulov again. So just holding up the puck, Nikolin. Trying to make the angle, Radulov, driven, good save. And away, Nikolin on the blue line, but he missed controls. Oh, and the US will do well, putting the aggressive D on and forcing the Russian team back. Radulov coming through center ice. Options both sides. This rather closes things down. Oh, danger here. It's Carter. Carter! And USA make it five on the short-handed goal. Radulov and Kovalchuk not combining something they've been doing with ease in this tournament so far. And Ryan Carter, unassisted, drives up the end. And scores the USA's fifth. Oh, Radulov just doesn't make the pass. There's no one at home. And Valimov couldn't do anything through the legs there, I think, of uh, Semyon Valimov. The USA again have that two cushion. Just whips it through the legs of Valimov. USA five, Russia three. 
Well, they're going to have to push for it now, the Russians. Still a minute to go on the power play. HQ on the shot, and then just dumped up the other end. Medvedev chasing. Oh, we're going to get a quick response from the Russians here. Still with Medvedev. Ovechkin just drifting across, Pedazogin goes down. Oh, no, it's spilled. In front of the crease. I'm trying to find the angle still. Passing it around. Another little layback and the shot and the score! Pedazogin makes it Russia 3, USA 5. And the goal's flying in here in the third period. That's three goals in two minutes. The Russians again back within two. Patient play by the Russians. And a good assist there from Alexander Popov. Also before that, Ovechkin near Popov on the goal line. He just managed to get Gibson down. Worried about that close range shot and, and open up the space on the other side of the goal. off against Stastny. And the US win the face off. Well if they can get that gap down to one then there's gonna be some nerves there for the Americans. Four minutes gone what four minutes it's been here. Vetchin scored an absolute peach to get things going and Ryan Carter the unassisted goal on the shorthand Zogin, just uh, 45 seconds later, makes it 5-3. Oh, what a chance. Pass towards Soyn, but he miscues. Great moment there. Tutin tries to tip in front, Soyn. Now in behind the goal with Kokarev. Still Kokarev. Little Tutin. Oh, get a look at that again. Did... Uh, Gibson get a piece of it. Whipped across, close range. Oh, and what a chance. Soin just with the goal at his mercy. Gibson hadn't got across. Look at it again here. The matter of inches for making it 5 4. Nikolin sends it around the boards. No touch though, and the US can start thinking again. That pass was a little too hard though for Galchenyuk to bring in the control. Here he is, but a little touch through the legs. The Russians looking more confident. Nets off. You know, think about how many goals the, uh, the Russians have taken here. They were avoidable. Silly mistakes. The one for Carter. Certainly. Uh, the case in point, but also Chenyuk at the end of the second period. So, I keep repeating myself, but Radulov, who just had that shot there, and Kovalchuk, plays that out on the beers last night, but it's not performed at all for Russia. The two most effective skaters. The group stages looking at the most points. Far too quiet. It's really made things hard. Here is Radigov going in behind, but nice idea with the pass, but doesn't find the man. Tutin. This will be a, a wonderful victory for the US if they can hold on. Still got 14 minutes to go though. Lock can change. It is Ogin. Scored that last goal. Kovalchuk, trying to get away from Falk. Oh, and then trying to the pass in to Popov. Have to retreat there, good work on the D6 played in the final period. Passing Denisov. Oh, good return, Popov he loses track of it and uh, loses his skates. No danger here, just goes wide. Oh, Smith. 
And a little spin there and then the reverse pass. Bouncing puck. Popov arrives. And fails to get it away first time. And slung across. And another shot, one-handed save. Still there though. And then eventually claimed by Valimov. Where we find ourselves with 13:28 on the clock. Five goals to three in favour of Russia, in favour of the USA. Russia struggling. But they did get the last one. Alexander Perizogi. Malimov just missing that. The Russian coach won't be pleased. All those shots taken cleanly as Moss and uh, Popov come together. Very happy about that, David Moss. Six years at Calgary in the NHL, he's moved to Phoenix. A great time with Phoenix this year, either in the NHL. Tenth place. Stanley Cup. Well, Russians finally win a. Face off. Seems like they've all been going the way of the USA. Soy had an amazing chance a moment ago, and you do think of crucial moments in the game at one for Ovechkin as well in the second period that he miscued on. Two uh, guilt edge chances for the Russians, both missed. Certainly the US have uh, taken their chances better as Oshi chases that and spins round, going back towards the goal line. Here he is. Right up on the blue line, Back into center ice. <laughs> on the left wing. No skater there for the US, though, as they try to just get it out now. Russia still behind their goal. Tutin. Under pressure, though, from Carter. Scored that unassisted goal, short handed one win. Jonta was in the box for roughing. Nice reverse pass. Jonta. Carter. Nelson Johnson. Getting around the boards. And there's a whistle here. Oh, another penalty. High sticking. Against Theodore Tutin. And that's not good for the Russian team. All their skaters on the ice if they're going to get back into this one. And flaws, including Jonta. Power play for the for the Americans. Coach seriously troubled. This is fourth penalty of the tournament so far. And the crucial face-off. And the Russians win this one. No, they can't. Is Truba. Men in front. Smith. Still Smith. Back to Truba. Right to the pass across onto the blue line. Opening it up. Look for the angle. Smith again. Still behind the goal. Truba. He's got the angle. Truba score! USA six. Russia three. And back to that three goal advantage. Jacob Truba on the power play. They take a giant step towards the semi-finals with that sixth goal. Patient build-up. Stastny lays it back and then with through the screen in front. Moss and Denisov in front of Valimov. And, uh, this is why they're up to the top of the rankings on the, on the power play in the tournament. That their ninth goal level with Switzerland now with one game more played. On the ninth power play goal. So the Russians back to full strength. The right and very much on the wall as Kuznetsov tries his luck. This is 
So Dennis Denisov, the build-up to the goal. And something momentous building here. The Russians can't turn things around. Petrov leaves it for Kuznetsov. The USA defense has just been like a wall. A little dump and go. Chasing hard after it. Nikolin, the Russian captain. He's made his fair share of errors in the tournament as well. Oh, a chance. Well, it was half developing, but Johnson was making it difficult to get the shot away. Thompson just sliding through center ice and gets the return pass from Carter. And the big check in behind. Looking for the pass back around the boards. Arriving is Hunwick. Thompson on the deck but manages to get the pass off. And it goes round here with Bello. That's the US just run the change. Carter looking to get on the end of this. The Russians manage to slow things down. Oh, could be a chance. Kovalchuk. Nice pass back. Radulov. Oh, Radulov took an extra to Tereshenko. Can't get the shot away. Danger here. Here comes David Moss. Still Moss. Oh, Moss! And USA 7, Russia 3. And it's for a rout and a miracle here for the USA. Moss with the seventh goal. And Russia surely now no way back into this one. Again, this traffic in front, Medvedev making it difficult for Varlamov to see the shot, but there wasn't much steam on it when it came through. Still finds its way into the back of the net for the seventh time in the USA. Closing in on a famous victory. Another little dump. Smith on the reverse pass and the shot! Oh, and another score! Stasny makes it eight! And the bear is being mauled by the USA. Incredible, absolutely incredible here in the first quarter final of the 2013 IIHF World Championships. USA eight, Russia three. And they just stormed away with it, three goals in two minutes. And there's no way back now for Russia. The defending champions are going out. Well, the two goalies there, Valimov and Brizgilov, they've been able to do nothing to stop it. He gets his sixth goal of the tournament. Well, I've used the word incredible a lot in the preceding games, but no better time to use it than now. The USA against the gold medalists from a year ago. Just running riot against the Russians. Well, we just need to uh, collect our thoughts after that little burst of goals from the USA. I don't think the, uh, the Russians can quite believe it. You can see all those red shirts in the crowd aren't making much movement now. They know it's all over. No way that Russia are going to score five goals in this remaining nine minutes and ten seconds. And you can see it again, just dumps it at the end. No reaction in behind. Smith again with a little reverse pass. Smith. Well, echoes of the first goal in the first period where Smith laid on the pass for Stastny and the eighth in very much similar fashion in reverse in front of the crease. Stastny arriving and tucks it away. Well, how many more can the USA score? Already heading for one of the biggest victories in the history between these two. 
fierce rivals. Shinko saved with the pad, saved with the glove, I should say. Thompson with the pass, he's had a goal as well. And Stastny said there would be no miracles. I've got to say that what has occurred here this afternoon in the first quarter final has been absolutely jaw dropping. The USA have completely outplayed the Russians. No, I said they've had a couple of chances, Russia at crucial moments, which they didn't take. Another one there, just going across. Kovalchuk is a rather limper stick. And we've come to see it in this tournament, unable to reach, reach the pass. Radulov, again, trying to take one or two extra touches. Shot comes in, but saved by Gibson. And they changed goalie. They brought in Ovechkin. And it hasn't made any difference to... The Russians, Ovechkin, his trip over to Europe is going to be a short one. This season is going to be over after he said he wanted to keep playing hockey and get another goal, get it back to back, which is a difficult thing to do. That and the Russians have done it in recent years. They're not going to be doing it again this year. the pad they won back-to-back uh, -back goal 2008-2009 they're even going to get a medal this year the USA who haven't medaled since 2004 they'll be flying high with confidence going up against either the Switzerland or Czech Republic in action later on today all the quarterfinals will be played at some point throughout today Slovakia third on the list and it finishes this evening over in Stockholm, Canada, Sweden. Well, after this performance, you've got to say that, uh, I'm going to say, no one game hockey always exists and can go anyway on any given day. I've got to put them up there as one of the favourites. Holding there against Stapleton. Third penalty of the tournament. The Russians they have a great, great history in this tournament. some consolation goals for them on the power play. The US will want to keep this five goal gap to make the remaining seven minutes as comfortable as possible. Finished up there. Uh, Stages with a emphatic victory. Eight four over Austria. Man, it's been eight today. Medvedev. They've got some incredible players. The Russians that they just didn't play. When they needed them today, they've lost too many face-offs. Radilov and 
Kovalchuk, non-existent. The most popular man in America for his uh, carry on with the, the Nashville Predators. Now playing for Cisco Moscow and scoring goals for fun over there in Russia. That's the Indigo Garden Cup. Kovalchuk. Teddy Single trying to get there, but Gibson again. Gibson, 19 years of age, so they're going to make heroes out of him and his teammates for this performance. We'll never see a repeat. gap is closed between the nations as Stastny quite rightly said in the, the pre-game press conferences but nonetheless this is a astounding victory in the, in the course of the world championship history and the course of the history between these two great hockey nations ultimately a disappointing season for Ovechkin who is in line to some awards, bringing the season efforts and carrying the Washington Capitals into the Stanley Cup playoffs. McCool gives it back, Radulov. Ten seconds to go to Tim in the pack from the uh, power play. Nikul, driven shot, and on the back of a goal, Radulov. Oh, then, oh, close range from Kovalchuk, couldn't get it, and then Radulov on the backhand. Gibson's not having any of it. US back to full strength. We've had some money. The bookmakers on this. Say scoring eight goals against the Russians. Let's go back into the history book some way. For the last time, Russia conceded eight of the World Championships. moment building up here the USA last season in the 2012 edition made it to the quarters and lost to host Finland 3-2 Soin tries to lay the pass but doesn't get anything on it three still away Russia ended up playing Finland in the semis on their way to a 6-2 victory over Slovakia and what was supposed to be a a build-up for the 2014 Winter Olympics to be held in February in Sochi in Russia. And, uh, hockey very much the centre point of the host nation's ideas. Oh, nice. Because Metzov there just picking that one out of the sky. So goes the referee. But uh, as I say, it was supposed to be a way of bringing the team together. Just KHLers and... NHLers still a lot of work to do they can't afford to throw in these sort of duff performances some of their players and uh, they made far too many errors as well at crucial points in the game once the sixth goal went in I think the Russians really had just given up the ghost and then uh, between two lacks in defense the seventh and in the eighth with four minutes on the clock came and, uh, in the first and second periods, they were slack and they were beaten. Pretty much all the areas. Definitely composure being one of them. There was the first goal. You saw the assist on the backhand pass from Smith. That was the one for Kalchenyuk. This is Truba. Firing through the crowd. And the dink there from Stastny again. And trying a little skills coming forward was uh, Kalchenyuk. Oh! 
Arriving at the crease, good shot there from Petri. Taking their time, looking for the right pass, they want a ninth. Oh, right in front, opens up, great save by Varlamov from Eric Johnson. Johnson just losing his skates there, he pulling in behind. Three minutes to go. Mechkin. Another warning, but could open up here. Slap shot. High up on the crease. Goes wide. Mechkin again. Going around the back. But he's on the goal line. Slung across the front of the crease. Off the boards. Check from Moss. They're off trying to dig it out now under pressure from Johnson. Oh, and then it just squirts out. And the glove goes on it from John Gibson. Oh, Gibson. Gives that chance at the other end. Wonderful save by Barlamon. Already down on the ice. Johnson trying to dig it out. Gets it away. Just go back to John Gibson again. Already said that he. Uh, Goal, didn't he? Under 20 World Junior Championships, he was voted as the MVP, and the top three player on the team. He was the best goaltender. Nice saves percentage. And in with uh, what's going on here. Young man, the last few months, his young early hockey career definitely stepped up to the challenge. One minute 40 to go. The Russians five goals behind the USA. Got absolutely no chance of turning this around. It's going to be a humiliating defeat here in the quarterfinals. Medvedev knocks it back. Really just going through the motions now. The men in red. Writing very much on the wall. Ignominious exit from the tournament. Hammered by the, the young Americans. Much more inexperienced in this tournament as well. Arriving at the crease there was Svitov. Got the first goal for Russia. And they were 2-0 down. The last minute. Thompson popped up with a goal at a crucial time as well. To make it 3 1. Five minutes and 45 seconds into the second period. Is there going to be one more goal in this? Either a consolation or for the US to hit further. Disappointment onto the Russian shoulders. And got it away up the ice. A very quiet, hard ballerina. The majority of fans in here, Russian. Ten seconds to go. The whistle is on. Two, one. The buzzer goes. And the USA claim a famous victory over the defending champions, Russia. Eight goals to three. And they progress through to the Stockholm semi-finals. An absolutely incredible game of hockey here for the US. Russia will go away and lick their wounds. The US progress into what could be a medal game. The first period was 2-1 to the US. 4-1 by the end of the second. And then 4-2. In the final period, one of the biggest victories and one of the biggest defeats for the Russians. Ovechkin's time here. Well, it's not uh, one that's lasted long. But plenty of credit to Stasny and his team and Joe Sacco. They can look forward to either Switzerland or the Czech Republic. That's all we've got time for from the Hart Valarina. Just watch the final images of the player of the game award. I don't think anyone from the Russians 
be particularly willing to accept it. A whole host of heroes for the USA. The Russians just didn't perform. There was some elements of miracle. That's a brilliant performance by the US of A. That's all from me. Until the next time, enjoy the rest of the hockey today. Goodbye.